So here's a quick tutorial on how to change that lower unit oil that I mentioned. <clears throat> so I just got some of the 80-90 weight uh, gear lube. I can get this at Walmart or whatnot. And this is that little pump thing I was telling you about. You can buy there as well. And it has a little threaded end here that uh, you put in actually to the bottom hole on the bottom, your bottom drain plug there. I popped that actually out already and I started to let her drain. <clears throat> what I usually do is actually remove that one first and let it start to drain and then I remove this upper one up here. Don't remove this one because that actually holds in the, the screen and whatnot for your intake. So you want to make sure it's the upper one up here as your vent and basically where your fill line is going to be too. And this is your bottom one here for the drain. Oops, sorry, I was out of focus there. But what you want to do, take this guy here, and you kind of got to play with a little and get the thread to start. Sometimes it's actually easier to have it off first, but this does actually spin on here. Uh, there it goes. So you basically just put that right on there. And then you just start pumping this. And basically just keep pumping until it comes out of that upper hole up there. It does take a bit, obviously, because you got to put a fair bit of oil in there. Um, no more than, you know, like half a quart or something like that, but it does take a better part of the quart. I just happen to have some left over from the last time I did it. And once it's full, what I do is put the top one in once it starts dribbling out. And that actually kind of causes a vacuum up top so when you pull it out of the bottom, it will not come spilling out nearly as much. Now I am going to be pulling the lower unit off here shortly because I'm going to redo the water pump on this because I don't believe it's working properly. Yep, and oh, getting there. Yep, see now it's going to start dribbling out. And that actually purges out some of your crap. Just kind of get that over there. Not a bad idea to keep pumping a little bit because that'll float some of the excess crap out of there. Just kind of make sure that's up there. That off to the side. And these, the nuts and whatnot, are um, it's not a bad idea to get new o rings for them. Um, you can actually order them off Amazon or uh, boats.net or whatnot. So there's that guy. Just kind of get that screwed back in place. Give it a good snug there. And I'm going to set this down here. And this is going to come shooting out a little bit, but that upper one helps a little bit with the uh, vacuum. So you do that, and then you just get this guy in there as quick as you can. It's a little bit messy, but... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. And then once you, you know, you lose a couple, half an ounce or something like that. As you can see, that one's a little marred up from previous drains. But, which is why I'm gonna order some new ones, I think, next time I do a change. And that's basically how you change your lower unit oil. Hopefully it helps you.